The Winks are settling into Gardenia, and business at their pet shop has really taken off. Sky and the specialists arrived just in time to protect the fairies from the wizards, but Bloom and her friends didn't seem too happy to see them. What will happen between the Winks and their boyfriends? up now. We've got to keep searching. The last fairy on Earth is somewhere down there in Gardenia. Girls, we've got to find her. And fast before Ogron and his wizard pals. We know they're after her. We've got to spot that magic trail, so keep your eyes open. You may want to tell Stella that. Oh no, wake up, Stella! Huh? Hey, what? Is breakfast ready? <gasps> <gasps> Sleep again. Uh, it's all this patrolling. Plus, I'm upset about the fight we had with the boys. I'm just totally stressed out. Stop complaining, Stella, and concentrate. I love Earth, but it has a lot of problems. I know. I wonder what it was like when the fairies ruled it. I don't know, but since they disappeared, there's been a lack of harmony. And now the world's unbalanced. In the book Farragonda gave us, it says that a Beliefix fairy can help people believe in fairies again. So then I guess the last fairy on Earth is this planet's only hope. She totally has her work cut out for her. Well, she's still out there, so we better get back to it. We have a big day ahead. <laughs> Please come in, gentlemen. Well done, Dumas. Hey. And now let's hurry up. The Winx will be here soon. Yeah, and so will the trap we're going to set to welcome them. Those Winx are pathetic, but irritating. Buzzing around, getting in our way. They are like insects. They have wings, they're hard to catch, and sometimes they sting. And just like insects, we are going to swat them. Gentlemen? Look at these cutie pies. That's right. Cute and helpless. At least until they get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> This place isn't all that bad. It's not my castle in Arachleon, but I think I can deal with it. I'm so tired of not doing anything. I'm a specialist. I want some action. You want action? There's some action. Go and get me a cold glass of orange juice. <sighs> That's not what I meant. Whatever. Gentlemen, I have returned with our new clothes. At least now we'll look like we belong on this planet. You guys don't look happy. I know they're not our uniforms, but come on, they're not that bad. Uh, I don't know. They're kind of big. Are you sure these are the right size? I was told they are very trendy this year, but if you really hate them, you can go back to wearing a cloak and a sword. <laughs> well, whatever, Brandon. Our real problem is that we need to find a way to make some money. And we're gonna need a lot of it to live in Gardenia, especially if we keep wasting it. Come on, guys. We need to do whatever it takes to be near the Winx. We were sent here to protect them. If they only realized we were doing this for them, then maybe the girls wouldn't be so mad at us anymore. And maybe they'd be a little less friendly to those Earth guys. You know, I pawned the Arachleon Royal Seal to get this place, so I suggest we start earning some money so I can get it back. Guys, I found the answer to all our problems. What, from reading the newspaper? Huh. <laughs> Working. Check it out, there are job listings. It says right here that there's a place that's looking for mechanics. And we know the engines of our ships like the back of our hands. Exactly. I mean, the vehicles on Earth are ancient. Really, how hard could it be? Mr. Oil, I assure you, we are the best there is. Well, I need a few good mechanics, and there's a lot of work to be done, so why don't you show me what you can do? 
<clears throat> um, why did you throw that? I thought you'd catch it. It's a wrench. And that's a car that you need to fix, so get to work. Oh, of course. I was just kidding you. We'll fix that car with this. <laughs> I just can't seem to get it open. There we go. These cars have a very primitive opening device. Uh, I can't see the energy collector. The charge inverter and the retro propulsion phospho generator are missing too. This job isn't gonna be as easy as we thought. Maybe Naboo could use his magic to fix this car, right? Well, I can try. But I can't guarantee you anything. Okay, I'll put you down for Tuesday. I'll just show you to the shampoo station. Follow me! Here, the pets are groomed by our expert, Stella. This is our nutritionist, Flora. Come on, little ones. It's time for your workout. And here is where they exercise with Aisha. One and two and three and hop. Come on, move those wings. And then up and down. And up and down. Now for the hardest part, twirl! <laughs> Hello, Bloom. I guess this is yours. Mom, Dad, what a nice surprise. We just wanted to come by and see how you were doing. You've done a great job. Actually, business is going very well. In fact, this is for you. Thank you. Without your help, we could have never opened Love and Pet and found these adorable little guys a home. Oh, Bloom, there was no hurry. We knew you would pay us back. We are so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, Dad. Well, we'd better get going, Bloom. You probably have tons of things to do. Love you guys. How's the website coming along? Did you put my pictures up? The ones where you just woke up? <laughs> what? what? You, you're not serious, are you? Things are going great, Stella. The Love and Pet site is getting tons of hits. Everyone wants to adopt their own fairy pet, but someone is running a little scam. And you know the rules. Right. No more than one pet per person. That way, everybody can have one. But apparently, somebody thinks that if they change their name, they'll be able to adopt all the dogs they want. Wow, good thing you thought of that. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure there were enough puppies for everyone. What would somebody want with all those dogs? Well, maybe they're just animal lovers. Or maybe they're planning to sell them for a lot of money. That would be bad. We need to know who's making these requests. Well, that won't be very hard. All the requests are coming from the same address. Then I think we should pay them a surprise visit. Oh, great. I love surprises. Is anybody here? Huh? Oh, no. It's Mitzi. She was the meanest girl in school here. Well, now she's a customer just like anybody else. So put a smile on your face and be nice to her, got it? Smiles, everyone! So, is this the famous love and pet shop I've been hearing all about? Need some help? Well, I've heard you can adopt incredible animals here and... Oh, who is that? He's so beautiful! Sorry, but he... I want him! He'll be the perfect present for my mom. But he hasn't finished eating yet. Oh, take a chill pill. Give it to me. I'll deal with it. Oh, Bloom. So you work here? Do you also do gift wrapping? No, he's an animal, not a toy. And you can put your credit card away. That pet is not for sale. That's right. We don't sell them. We give them away. For adoption? Hmph. Have a nice day and come again soon. Or not. Ever. Girls, I think it's time to feed the pets. They seem really hungry. What a racket. We're just a little late with the bottles. No need to make such a fuss. They're acting really strange. They've never been this anxious. 
Something's wrong. You'd think they're starving. <gasps> Whoa! Watch out! Get back! This is dark magic. Yeah, by Ogron and the Wizards of the Black Circle. There's only one thing we can do. Wings, enchanted! Wait, wait, wait! There we go. Hit it, Bloom. Wings, enchanting! Plasma Magic Ball! <laughs> oh no, please don't hurt them. They're our pets after all. Sooner or later they're gonna hurt us. Our magic's not working. Come on, let's get them out of here. If people see this, it won't be good for business. Put up a fight when it's a losing battle. <laughs> oh no! Enchanted moon shield! <laughs> Protected energy field! <laughs> You're pretty fast, but I bet I know how to slow you down. I don't think you like that trick. <laughs> they don't like the high-pitched sounds. I'll make their ears ring. Sound wave attack! <laughs> What's going on? Dragon shield! Try that! Should do it. Bloom, look down there. Whoa, Whoa. Did you see what? That? What's going on? It looks like aliens. Mommy, what are they? Uh oh, I think we just will recover. Oh no, they're afraid of us. This is making them think that fairies are dangerous. I'll handle it. Aisha, I need a long and thin morphix rope. Calm down, everyone. Everything's under control. Didn't anyone tell you? Didn't you see the signs? Uh, what signs? Uh, those guys are gonna hear from me. We're shooting a film, and we need you to stand back or you'll be in the shot. A film? Do you need any extras? Um, maybe you should ask the director. See you in the movies. They look so real, I, I can't even see the cables. <sighs> this engine is so primitive, I can't even tell what's wrong with it. Well, Nabu, I did my best. I just hope this bucket of rust can take my magic. It's a pretty old car, but it's sturdy. Try to turn it on. <laughs> Guys, look up there! It's the Winx. Let's go! Uh, they may not be too happy to see us, but they're in trouble, Riven, and they need us. Come on! <laughs> now where in the world did those losers go? If we don't figure this out soon, we're going to be doggy treats. Hunger, of course. Think about it. They transformed at feeding time. Maybe we just need to give them something to eat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not again. We
We told you we could handle this ourselves. Wow, what a warm welcome. What are you doing here? You don't think we can do this, do you? We're here to protect you, whether you like it or not. Get ready to fire! Stop it! They're our pets! Seriously? They look kind of mean. We're going to take care of them. Aisha, Morphix power! <laughs> Guys, keep them busy! On it! Here, kitty kitty. We've got to concentrate our Enchantix energy. We need to attract those creatures. What our huge hungry pets need is a big bowl of food. Displacement spell. Here are all the pet munchies from the store. Come and get it. Oh, no. All the puppies! The spell has been broken. This is ridiculous, getting beaten by a bowl of kibble. Listen, the problem we're having with those girls is they've had luck on their side. Gantlos, you were right. Next time, we'll do it your way. So, everything's fine then? Yeah, it looks like... Oh no, Mitzi's pet! If her pet is like these guys, then Mitzi's in big trouble. Let's go! Hey, we should follow them. Let's go get our car from the shop. Our car? And I was hoping for an SUV. <sighs> Nabu, can you give this wreck a boost? It's so slow. It's hard to work with a vehicle this primitive, but let's see if that helps. Okay, now here we go. Just give it a little gas. <laughs> Well, at least that got us moving faster. Uh, hold on, Riven. You might want to watch out. What? I've got it under control. Bloom? What are you doing here? Great, he's still asleep. He did have a full bottle earlier. Well, of course he's sleeping and he's well fed. I can take care of him. He's my pet now. You see, Mitzi, we, well, we have to take the kitten back for a checkup. Forget about it. My friends want to see him and I'm already late. So, if you don't mind, I'm out of here. Darn, we have to stop her! She went that way! Can you give us a lift? Sorry, there's just no way we can all squeeze into this car. Hey, I got it. was so great. Hey, thanks so much, Aisha. Tell you what, why don't you guys hop in the back and we can get going. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm. Hi, I'm Brandon, and I'm saving your life. Flora, do you have any of those pet snacks left? A few. I kept a handful just in case. It's all over, little kitty. Everything's just fine. And nobody saw us. I don't think anyone would have believed we were shooting a movie this time. You? You rescued me from that thing! Huh? Thank you! Brandon! Uh-oh. What? What are you doing? Uh, uh nothing! I, I was just, just... Just, just what? But you, you boyfriend stealer! I'll turn you into a toad! Stella, wait a minute! Be reasonable! She just needed my help! But I... I saw them, and then... And... and you jumped to conclusions without knowing what really happened. <sighs> Here's your pet, Mitzi. You can keep it. I don't want it anymore. Whatever it is. Well, looks like you don't need us anymore, so... Thank you for your help, and... Sky, About that other thing. Yes, Bloom? Uh, no, nothing. It doesn't matter. Well then, see ya. <laughs> Wait! Brandon! I haven't introduced myself. My name's Mitzi, and... I'm sorry, Mitzi. I can't stay. I really have to go. We'll 
We'll meet again, Brandon. A girl never lets her Prince Charming go. We're almost there, guys. Well, look who decided to drop in. I certainly didn't expect you to show your pretty little faces around here again. Um, we had some problems. You see... First you nearly blow up my shop, and then you steal my car. Well, boys, if you wanted to get fired on your first day, then... Hey, we might be useless, but we're not thieves. Here's your car. This is not my car, unless you've magically transformed it. Precisely. Huh? Mm -hmm. How about if we pay you for the damage? How much do we owe you, sir? That'll be just fine. Now get that wreck out of here. <sighs> Great! Broke again! Uh, another day like this and I'll have to pawn the old crown treasure! Easy. Hey guys, guess what? I found a job! That's right! You are now looking at a senior service consultant for a major electronics store, which means I repair computers. And I'll work from home, so I can set my own hours. Well done, Timmy. Finally some good news. Cheer up, Stella. Everything's good. Yeah? Then how come I feel so bad? In the next episode, the Winks and the Specialists don't get along very well. But in Gardenia, there's no time to be jealous. The Winks will find out the identity of the last Earth Fairy. And once again, the Wizards of the Black Circle will be ready to strike.